I'm going to show you how I did this umbrella transition, but first I'm going to explain it and then I'm going to demonstrate it. What you need to know about a transition like this is that you need to be in the same position for both shots and you do need to let the petals drop out of the umbrella two times in the first outfit and the second outfit. And then when you put it into an editing app, you're going to make a split screen right as you raise the umbrella up so that you're going to cut the screen up below the umbrella and as the petals fly you're going to have the split screen move down and that is how you reveal the second outfit. So it sounds complicated, I'm going to show you how I did it exactly. The first important thing is that your camera should not move on either shot. So you need to set it up on a tripod or somewhere where it's not going to move. It's helpful to play the music on a separate device if you're going to lip sync. And when you raise that umbrella up, you want to not put it directly over your head, but put it like in front of your head so that when it releases the petals, more of the petals fall in front of you and not on top of you. So it looks like they're falling over your head, but in reality, the umbrella is a little bit ahead of you. Another tip is to make sure you mark on the floor where your feet are going to be so that you're standing in the exact same spot for both shots. I have my camera set up on a tripod right here. My umbrella is full of petals. It's a good idea to practice the moves a few times before you do it so that you don't have to pick up the rose petals too many times. Ashley, look at me. Now I'm going to leave my shoes in the spot. Alright, I'm going to play the music, slip into my shoes and do it over again. While the petals are dropping, try not to move too much and then you can dance once the petals hit the floor. Look at me. Once you shoot both shots, you're going to put them into an editing app and I used CapCut. Open up CapCut, start a new project. Now I'm going to pick the two takes I did in the black dress and in the white dress, add to project. It was a very long take on the black dress because I was doing it over and over and in my head for a very long time until I finally committed. I didn't want to pick up those petals more than once. Get to the part right before I start lip syncing roughly. I'm going to tap on the timeline, click split and get rid of all of that beginning. Then I'm going to get through the whole take. Everything goes to the floor and we finish. Tap the timeline, split, and get rid of the rest of the take in the black dress. Now I want to get to the white dress and I want to get to the part where the umbrella is up over my head. So just before it's about to open, like right on the opening, is where I want this one to start. So I'm going to tap on the timeline, click split, tap the beginning, get rid of it. Now I have to go back to the first one and make a cut right as the umbrella gets above my head and is about to be opened. That's where the transition is going to start to happen. So I tap on the timeline, click split. So now I have three clips, the black dress before the umbrella goes up, the black dress after the umbrella is up and opened, and the white dress. I'm going to tap on the white dress shot, scroll over and look for overlay. That's going to drop it down to a separate layer, tap off it and then tap on it and then slide it and move it so that it locks into position where the other umbrella releases. So now we have, you see what's happening here? Boom, the umbrella is releasing. So what I need to do, so I go to the beginning of the shot, tap on the white dress, slide over to mask, which is, looks like this. Tap split screen, and I'm gonna take the line and I'm gonna move it up to right above my head. This little two arrows actually softens the line so it's not a hard edge. So you can just gently pull on it so it gives you a bit of a softer edge. Click the check mark. I'm going to set what is called a keyframe by tapping on this diamond. Now I'm going to go along, let the umbrella pop open and start to drop petals. It's a good idea to take two fingers and you can actually zoom in on the timeline so that you can go a little slower and it's a lot easier to see what you're doing. So there's diamond number one. Now as the petals start to fall, I want my outfit to begin to change. I'm going to stop on that spot. Where's mask? I'm going to tap on mask again. And now I'm going to move the line down a bit so it starts to cover my head. Tap the check mark. It set another keyframe. Go a little bit further. More petals falling. Stop. Tap mask. Grab the line. Pull it down a little bit more. Tap the check mark. And you keep doing this as it goes forward and the petals start to fall. Tap mask, take the line, pull it down even more, tap the check mark. 
and you just move forward as petals fall and move the line by tapping mask and then sliding this down as the petals are falling. Tap the check mark. More petals, tap mask, move the line, tap the check mark, move along. And you can make as many keyframes as you want. Tap mask, move the line, we're almost there. And then go along to, till it gets to your feet. Tap mask, move the line. See how it changed my shoes. Tap the check mark and I'll do one last one as it gets to the bottom. Tap mask, pull it all the way down, tap the check mark. Let's see how we did. Let's make it bigger. So far so good. <laughs> we got the ending there. So there's a few more things that can happen. Number one, it would be nice if this happened a lot faster, but we can speed that up when we put it in TikTok. And the other thing is you might want to, after the petals fall, you might want to do a cut and zoom in. If you wanted to jump into a close up at the end, you can tap on the white layer, click split, and then while it's highlighted, you can just take two, pink, two fingers and zoom in on it like that. And so you can be in a little close up. So now it'll go from to a little close up like that. Let's take off the ending. Delete. I'm going to export this and then I'll add the music in TikTok and I'll show you how to make that adjustment. First, I'm going to go to the TikTok that has the music and add the music. Use this sound. Then I'll upload that video that I just exported. And you can see it's out of sync. So I've got to tap my edit button and take off some of the beginning. Okay, when these petals start to fall, I'm actually going to speed it up. So I'm gonna make a split and then let the petals fall quickly to the floor, split, and I'm gonna tap that little clip in the middle, tap the speed, and I'm gonna double speed it so it's gonna go twice as fast on the petals falling. Or right, let's, let's watch it. See, that way it goes a little faster. If this tutorial was too advanced for you, I actually teach beginner editing lessons. So get on my email list, that way you'll find out when the next one is and you can sign up and you can learn for free. Good luck, see you there.